All right, so it's day four, almost 7 a.m. I'm meeting up with Tim over at his hotel to head over for the shot qualifying, which starts at 10. Hopefully we'll get ready for a good comp. So it's the morning of the shot. We just got here. We are about to start warming up like 40 minutes out before call room. Okay, so Tim, Tim's in the call room. I'm trying to hit up this IAAF lounge, number two. I'm in the IAAF lounge. Thank you. So this is where I'll be coaching Tim from. Pretty decent seats, especially for qualifying for the men's shot, man. I'm pretty excited for this. We got, what time is it? I think it's, we got 35 minutes till it's start time. Tim got 15. We're gonna probably go to the Nike house again with Alex and then I am going to drink a little bit with Timmy Cat before this evening's discus final where I'll make some predictions and bet thousands of dollars. $100. So that's the London Tower Bridge? Yeah, Tower Bridge. So that, oh that's Butler's Wharf. I always wanted to go to Butler's Wharf. That's where they used to, um, they used to make all the gay people in London jump off that bridge. <laughs> Oh that's what they did. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's why they call it Butler's War, because people would like butt stuff. Would you jump off that bridge? Fuck yeah, I would, dude. Would you would? Yes, oh, I, I would. would too. I've jumped off things higher as high as that bridge. I, Wait, I, I wouldn't jump up top, no. Well, I would. Oh. I think you would survive from dude, up I would, top. I would not dude, it's not that high. You would survive from up top, definitely. Oh, like up up there? Dude, I you jumped. Maybe survive, but you that that's, would hurt. That's dude, hard. I jumped off a place called the Calf's Pen. In Lake George, in Lake George, New York, it's on YouTube. It's fucking high as fuck. I I didn't do it at first. I walked down because Caitlin was pregnant yeah, with Lincoln. Bad. Dude, <laughs> underwater plants. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever the fuck you call that shit. What? Look at this. It's water. There's water and oh my buildings. God, there's, water. there's stuff in water. I thought it was just water. Yeah. What are the leaves? What are those? Those leaves? Where do the leaves? Wow. Where do the leaves come from? <laughs> oh my Damn. Wow. So I got punished. I'm at the Nike house here because I'm wearing I'm wearing Saucony's. So I was here with Alex, who's sponsored by Nike, and Tim is sponsored by Nike. But he he wouldn't let me in because of that, because of my Saucony's. Dude, I wish I would have. I wish I would have recorded that Nike conversation of me losing my soul while. Alex and Tim were laughing at me. Do you remember that, Alex? Yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. Like, it all happened so fast. I just. If I was, if I was 28 years old, I would have knocked that dude out. That probably would have. <laughs> I just would have went home and cried like I am right now. <laughs> so it's the men's discus final, and I'm coming up to the lounge to try and get some free food. Should be pretty crazy tonight. Let's see who's gonna win. I want one of the OGs, Harding and Malachowski. Finley opened up at 67. Holy shit! Oh, 
Five sixty-nine high. It's always great to see a freaking American and, and dude Finley last year after Olympic trials I did a an analysis I like his technique a lot man. Finley could change the way people see the discus technique in the US. So he moves well, he doesn't jump, and he finishes well. He's a beast. Congrats to him for being a freaking monster. That was awesome. Discus World Champ. Double-decker. Here we go, back. 